Welcome to Packing 101 with Sarah. From the state of Alaska to Puerto Rico, and from the state of Maine to Hawaii, FFA members crisscross this nation going to national convention, state conferences and conventions. And the enemy of any FFA member is a suitcase that won't pack and is too heavy. Let's look at how we can pack more efficiently and effectively. Make sure all liquids are under three ounces. You don't want to be stopped at the gate and have to throw away some precious, precious, expensive anything. All right, so travel size lotions, travel size toothpaste. And remember, the travel size shampoos and conditioners are designed to last about two weeks, including travel size toothpaste, because, hey, that's perfect for state convention and national conventions. All medicines must be in labeled containers, whether it's an Advil bottle or prescription. Travel size toothbrush holders and even travel size brushes and combs will greatly help all your packing necessities. Another trick is to double bag your liquids container just in case something pops a hole or something leaks, which is no bueno. Now, you don't want to be the fuzzy one at convention. Make sure you pack lint pads or even lint rollers. Travel size little sewing kit just in case you bust something. Now, we all love our phones, and we're probably constantly on them at the airport and on the plane. You don't want to be stranded and out of luck, not be able to contact a taxi, so you need to make sure you pack a power bank. All right, and as FFA members, we have these lovely white shirts, and they wrinkle really fast. So, in your suitcase, make sure you pack some wrinkle release spray, and that greatly helps. Also for you girls, straightener bags. They're heat proof and won't burn anything in your bag if you have to leave immediately after straightening your hair. You also need to pack interchangeable outfits. This goes for boys and girls. Jeans and t-shirts and different kinds of t-shirts always work. Other colored pants that are very neutral. Pick outfits that can work with different things. Belts can be interchangeable to make an outfit look totally different. Scarves, girls for jewelry. I know we all have that very favorite piece of jewelry that we love to wear, but it only goes with one outfit. Don't bring it. Instead, bring neutral things that can go with different items. Also, belts, scarves, and different kinds of jewelry can totally change up an outfit, even if you wore the same shirt two days ago. No one's gonna notice, it's a completely different outfit. Now let's look at how to pack. We've all been familiar with that suitcase you have to jump on. Now, if you have a carry-on and a check baggage, you are lucky. You wanna focus on putting your heavy articles of clothing in your carry-on, or else that checked bag is gonna get heavy really fast. So jeans, carry-on. Now, with shirts, one way to keep them wrinkle-free and pack smaller is roll them up and suddenly have a tiny little bundle that won't get very wrinkled. Another thing you can do is with your shoes or boots, stuff socks in them for things that doesn't matter if they're wrinkled and they're little. So maybe even a swimsuit. Now, something you want to do is make sure you pack a plastic bag. Remember that swimsuit? What if you were just swimming? It's going to be wet and you don't want your other clothes to get wet either. Shove it in a plastic bag and voila, it doesn't matter if it's wet or not. Another thing, try to pack small little totes and containers. This Girls, bobby pins, hair accessories, jewelry, can pack tightly and efficiently in this, and it's not getting all over your suitcase. Small totes like this, this personally is my makeup one, they really make sure your suitcase stays organized and also really compacts it. Now let's look at how to fold our jacket. Lay your jacket flat out, no unnecessary wrinkles. Fold one side in and crease. Bring this arm back and turn it like that and crease. Do the exact same thing to the other side. Bring it in half, fold the arm back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this jacket in half like a taco, just like that. Now your collar won't get messed up and you're ready to go. Now when you put your jacket into your suitcase, make sure it's not packed next to a hard object because these corduroy rows can get crushed and make your jacket look dingy. Now, Fold your white shirt exactly the same way that you just barely folded your jacket and pack your skirt or slacks flat. Now, with your dress shoes, use a t-shirt. That way, they won't get scuffed in your suitcase and they won't get any of your other clothes dirty. 
That is how to effectively pack a suitcase so you can do this and not have to sit on it.